Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking orthogonal drawing using AutoCAD. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to set up our title block document. We're gonna have to set up our units. I'm using two decimal points and I'm using the international scale, press OK. Once you've got that, we need to get into our page setup and we're just gonna modify that layout and make sure that we are in ISO expand A4 and the scale is one to one, press OK. Once you've got that, make sure that author mode is turned on as well as your snaps. So figure out what snaps you need and turn them on. So once we have all of that, the first thing that we're gonna to do to create this orthogonal drawing is we're gonna start with the front view. So we know that the distance is 90 and then it goes up by 10 and then it goes in 30 because you have the dimensions already there and then it goes up another 10 and then we go and hit it from the other side. So now we go up 50 and then we go across 25 and then the remainder is the slope of that side. So now that we've got that, now we have to work on where we're gonna put this circle at the bottom. So we know that the distance from the edge is gonna be 25. Make sure your center midpoint snaps are on and there we're able to draw that circle. Now we can use the trim tool to get rid of the stuff that we don't need or you can just press TR on your keyboard. So once you have that, we know that we need to go down 20 to create the first little step. So now once you've trimmed off the areas that you don't need, you need to come to your properties and you need to go down to the line type and you need to change the line to hidden. So you can do this by going manage and you can actually load the different types of lines. So for a hidden line, you need a dashed line and there's actually one called hidden. So make sure you add it to your line types and that's in the line type in your properties. So if you're on Windows, it will be in the top bar, but on Mac, it's on the right hand side. So now we have to draw the circles, which are also in hidden detail as well. So we need to find the center point of where we're gonna put the circles. Now it does not actually give us the diameter of the circles, but we're just gonna assume that it's 10. And so once I've got my circles in so that would be five from each side i'm just going to draw my lines down and then when i need to get rid of you know the areas i can always just press tr for the trim and i can make sure that those two lines are now in hidden detail so i can highlight them both or i can do it one at a time by going to my line type and then going back to hidden and if you do it one at a time, well then you're just gonna have to do it for the other one as well. So that's going back into line type. So now once we've got the hidden detail lines, now we can move on to the next step and this is to draw the top view. So now because you've done most of the work in the front view, the top view is going to have the same dimensions as the front view. So all we need to do is put in the right dimensions of how wide this is going to be. And we know that that's going to be 50. So this is where it gets a little bit messy because you will need to keep trimming your lines as you don't need them. So now if you ever need to use a calculator to find out you know, certain things, for example, we know that the distance in between the two sides is 26, but we know that the total distance is going to be 50. So what you left over with is 12 on each side. So both sides will have to be equal. So now I've just marked up those two sides and I've drawn the line across. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the information from the front view and then I'm just going to drag it up until it corresponds with the top view. And then the stuff that you don't need, you can always trim or delete. So now the next line that we need is from the hidden detail line. And so that's gonna give us our slant. And when you're done with the lines, you can always press escape to unselect the lines. So now we need our circles. So the first thing is I'm gonna find our midpoint and that's gonna split where we're actually gonna put the circles. And then we're gonna keep the circles to the same measurement as what we had at the bottom. So that would be a diameter of 10, a radius of five. Please make sure that what you have in the front view is what you have in the top view. 
Then once you're done, all you can do is you can trim away the parts of the diagram that you don't need and you can get to trim by pressing TR. Now you can click on the actual line or you can click and drag and maybe that will be faster for you. So now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because if you don't get the right trims done, then the drawing will look not complete. So you have to make sure you spend a little bit of time there. And if you're missing any other lines, for example, like this line here, which is also going to be hidden detail because this is the circle or the semicircle that goes underneath the whole uh, design, then you have to put that in as well. So we don't need all these lines, but we do need these lines from here and this will all be hidden detail. So again, we'll have to go to our line type and we'll have to change it to hidden. Cool. So now that we've got that, now we can worry about the rest of the diagram. So now we're gonna to move to the side view. And again, it's gonna be a similar process. We are going to use the actual dimensions that we already have. So we already know the height from the front view. And then all we need to put in is the other details which we can get from this drawing. So you can see here that we've got the width here and now we need to fill in with the rest of our stuff. So now we're gonna be looking at that front lip where the two circles are actually sitting. So we need to put that line in and then we need to add the other lines as well. Now we're, there's also gonna be hidden detail in this section as well because again, that semicircle that goes from underneath will also be there. And also we're gonna to have to cut the shape from the top to make sure that we can actually see those two side components. So when you're done, it's the same principle. You can just trim away the sections that you don't need. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in and draw the side lines. So we know from the top view that that dimension is 12. And so we just have to go in 12 and then we can draw our lines down. Now you won't see any of those cuts in there. So you will have to trim away those uh, pieces on those two side panels. So now once we've got that, we just need to connect the middle part because there's a little bit of height in that. And then we just need to trim away the sections that we don't need. So that will create a, it looks nearly like a U. Now the other thing that we need to do is we need to put our circles back in and they will be in hidden detail because we will not see them from this view. So again, we've gone with a measurement of a diameter of 10. So that will be five either side of the center point. So the center point that we're using is in line with the two side pieces as well. And you just have to make sure that you go five either side of that. And so once you have all of them, then what you can do is you can make sure that you highlight them all and then go to the line type and make sure that they are hidden. And once you got that, that's looking pretty cool. So now we can start to finish off the drawing. So we just need to trim away the areas that we don't need. So if you created any more lines, then you can go and do that. Now we're just testing here for where that line for the semicircle goes. And that's already from the other line that's coming over from that uh, front view. So you don't have to even make it hidden because you can't see it. So now we're up to the dimensioning. Now, you don't need dimensions on absolutely everything, but if you have dimensions on the major components of this drawing, so for example, if you were going to give this drawing to someone, you would wanna put as many measurements as you can so they can complete the actual drawing. But look, a rough guide would be to do at least three different measurements on either, like on all of the shapes. So maybe do some on the top view, some on the front view, some on the side view. Make sure that your circles have the center mark as well. And if you are going to put any diameters or radiuses, then you can list that down as well. So once you've got everything, like I said, make sure that you have the center marks on the circle, then you can go and change the date and put you know, today's date or whenever you completed this drawing. You can change the name. You can also change the title to orthogonal drawing and you can also change the drawing number. Once you're happy with your drawing, then you can export it by going to the little A symbol and then just going export to PDF and that will give you a high quality PDF. 
So anyways, guys, that's about it for this short tutorial on how to create an orthogonal drawing. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys next time.